Welcome to Greenblatt Library's Ovid Medline tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the basics of searching Ovid Medline, which is a large database of journal articles in the fields of biomedicine. It is available via the Ovid link on the library homepage. Here's a brief overview of what I'll be talking about in this tutorial. I'll go over using MeSH medical subject headings to search for main concepts, choosing subheadings if appropriate, combining search terms using AND or OR, and focusing your results using limits. To start, let's go to the Ovid Medline database. The first thing you need to do after you've clicked on Ovid is to choose the Medline database. The best option to choose is EPUB ahead of print, in process and other non-index citations, Ovid Medline R daily and Ovid Medline R 1946 to present. Or the quick way to think about it is to choose the one that is the longest. Make sure you don't choose books at Ovid or your journals at Ovid because those won't allow you to use some of the features that I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. Once you've chosen your options, click OK to be taken to the search page. So now I'm on the Ovid Medline search page and I want to start searching for terms. And first thing I want to do is to search for subject headings. So I'm going to take the keywords that I have come up with for my search and put them in one at a time. In my case, I'm interested in whether walking regularly has an effect on hypertension. So I'm going to put in my first keyword, which is hypertension. Make sure at this point that you have the map term to subject heading box checked and click search. That will take you to a list of mesh headings. In this case, there is one for hypertension, so you can click on the term to see where it falls in the mesh hierarchy. Scroll down and the one that you've chosen will be highlighted. And this is helpful because it can show you what falls underneath it in the hierarchy. So in this case, malignant hypertension, pregnancy-induced hypertension, renal hypertension, and a few other things fall under hypertension. If I wanted to include those, I could check this box or explode to the right of hypertension to include the terms that fall below it to the right. But in this case, I don't want to, so I'm going to uncheck that to search only for hypertension itself. There's another option, focus, which tells Ovid Medline that you only want to search for articles that have that term as a major subject. So it has to be one of the main points of the articles that come up in your search results. I do want that, so I'm going to check it. Once you've chosen all of your options, you can scroll back up and click Continue. And you'll be taken to a list of subheadings. You can use subheadings to help narrow your search down to a particular aspect of a topic. For example, if I were interested in prevention and control, I could choose that. And you can choose as many as you want, but if your topic doesn't really fall under one of these very well, or if you're not sure where it falls, you can always choose Include All Subheadings up at the top to include everything on this page. And then click Continue to start job in Medline. So now I've searched for hypertension as a major heading in Ovid Medline. And I can see that up at the top, above the search bar, it has recorded that search in my search history. Ovid keeps your search history going during your session, but it will time you out if you leave your tab open and you go to something else on your computer or if you walk away for it from your computer. So please make sure to save your searches somewhere if you're going to be leaving. You can create an account up at my account to save searches. So now I searched for hypertension and I want to search for my next keyword which is walking. Again I'm going to make sure that I have the map term to subject heading box checked and I'm going to click search. 
And again, I see that there is a subject heading for walking. If there wasn't a subject heading that really fit my term, Ovid will give you a suggestion down at the bottom to search for that term as a keyword. And you can choose that instead of one of the subject headings, and it will only search for articles that have that particular word as a keyword somewhere in the article, like in the title or the abstract or the subject terms. But in this case, walking is a subject heading, so I'm going to use that. And again, I'm going to click continue. I'm going to include all subheadings and click continue again. And now I searched Ovid Medline for the term walking. But I didn't want to search for hypertension and walking separately. I actually want them in the same search. In Ovid, you can combine searches using the search history by clicking the checkboxes next to the ones that you want to combine and then choosing and or or. And means that both of the subject headings have to be present in your results. So any article that comes up would have to have hypertension as a major heading and the heading walking also applied. If I were to choose or, I would get articles that had either hypertension or walking as a heading, but not necessarily both. So in this case, because I want only articles to talk about walking in relation to hypertension, I'm choosing and. And now I have 87 results. That's still quite a few results, so I might want to narrow my search down using other methods. From here, I could start adding more keywords to narrow it down more specifically to, I, to what I want. For example, if I were interested in a specific ethnic group or something else that I could use to narrow it down. But there are also limits that you can use to narrow your search down. And those show up underneath the search bar. You can actually put these on at the end of a search, and I recommend doing that because sometimes limits can cut down your results way too much, and it's a lot easier to take your limits off if you put them on at the end than if you put them on at the beginning. They give you a few options right on the search page that are sort of popular ones, things like English language, review articles, publication years, but you can click additional limits to see quite a few more options. One particularly useful set of limits is the age groups. A lot of the time it's better if you are looking at a specific age group to use the limits instead of using the age group as a search term because this way you can see where, where they fall and how they're classified. So I'm only interested in adults, so I'm going to choose adults. I also only want English language and 2012 to present. And once you've chosen all of the options that you want, you can click limit a search and it will limit your search down to the limits that you've applied. So I can see my search history is telling me now that I have 26 results, which is a perfectly reasonable amount for me to go through using my eyes. So those are the basics of searching Ovid Medline. To recap, we went over using MeSH medical subject headings to search for main concepts and choosing subheadings, combining your search terms using AND or OR, and focusing your results using limits. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial, and if you need any assistance with searching Ovid Medline, please contact the Greenblatt Library or the Nursing Librarian for assistance. You can reach the Greenblatt Library at 706-721-3441 or libref, that's L-I-B-R-E-F, at augusta.edu.